What's going on guys? This is going to be another Firebase Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send push notifications to only specific users. I'll do a little demo here. Just ignore this out, uh, this layout. It's not important to the actual app itself. Um, but you can see here that I'm going to send a push notification to only people who have subscribed to the Vancouver weather topic. So I'm just going to send them uh, a little notification with the title Vancouver weather update and this and then a, just a message that says this is the notification message. So on this app, I have them subscribe to Vancouver Weather. So if I click send, I get a push notification saying the Vancouver Weather update. So let's change the topic to like Seattle Weather. So I've changed the topic to Seattle Weather. Let's see if they get the notification. And you can see they received no notification. Oh, just an FYI, um, if you don't know what this is, it's just a Google Chrome web app. It's called Postman and I use it to send push notifications instead of the Firebase console. It just adds, uh, it's easier to customize and there's other features like click action, which I go over in my how to send push notifications to open up an activity tutorial. I'll put a link here. I'm gonna be carrying on from my push notifications tutorial, the very first one I did. So if you haven't watched that, just quick, it's only you know five or six minutes long, quickly watch that and catch up to this spot. Um, this tutorial should be nice and short. There's not much to add to it. So we're gonna open up our Firebase messaging service and delete all this because I'm changing the way that we're gonna parse the incoming data. We're gonna have two if statements inside of our on message receive method. One's gonna be for getting the notification and one's gonna be for getting the data. So by notification, I mean this right here and by data, I mean this right here. So there's two types of incoming information that we need to look for. So this if statement up here is gonna handle the incoming data. We use the get data method to get that and this if statement down here is going to handle the incoming notification. We use get notification for that. The data is not really important. I just left it in to show you that you could add extra information in the form of data. So we're not going to be actually doing anything with this in the tutorial though. So we'll go down to our uh, get notification if statement here. And if we look at Postman, we see we have two pieces of information inside of the notification section. We have a title and we have text. So we need to create variables for each one of those. So we have a string title and a string message. We uh, get the title by calling get notification, get title, and the message by get notification, get body. Then let's log the title and the message. Then I'm gonna send the title and the message to the send notification method to create the push notification. Okay, so so far we haven't really done anything special here, nothing new. We need to subscribe this user to a topic and then we can launch the app. So we go over to main activity and we'll use Firebase messaging, get instance, and then subscribe to the topic. So this user, let's uh, let's subscribe them to, I don't know, New York weather. So obviously you could see, um, like if you were actually to build an app in this, it would be much better to have maybe like some tick boxes that subscribe a user to certain topics like Vancouver weather, uh, New York weather, what, you know, whatever, certain types of news. And um, then they could subscribe or unsubscribe if they wanted. And you could send out push notifications to those certain topics. All right, now that we've got the app all set up, let's go over setting up Postman. So you just go to, to download Postman, you just open up a new uh, browser, go to apps up top, um, and then go to the web store, and then just search for Postman. You can't mess it up, pretty straightforward. And when you uh, first launch it, just click on Postman there, and you'll get this opening up. So to create, create a new uh, request, you click this tab, and type in your URL. So you type in this URL, change this to post. Then you gotta fill out the authorizations tab first. We're not gonna use any authorization. Go to headers, put content dash type here, type application JSON here, put authorization here, and then put your server key here. If you don't know how to get your server key, you go to your Firebase console, go click on your project, go up here, go to project settings, and your, yeah, go to project settings, and then click on cloud messaging and your server key will be right here. I'm not gonna show you my server key because if I show it to you, you'll be able to send push notifications to me. And I don't wanna to have to create a new project, so I'll keep that hidden. Once you, once you put in the server key, remember you need to type key and then equals put your server key. Once that's done, go to body and copy this format for the push notification. If you wanna send it to different topics, you just change this. So like in our app, we're subscribing to New York Weather so I copy that and I'm just gonna put New York weather here. Now that we have everything done in Postman, let's run the app and test it. So remember we subscribed to New York weather, let's send a push notification and make sure that we get that push notification. And there it is. Oh, whoops, <laughs> I forgot to change it. This should be uh, New York. All right, send it again. And we get the New York weather update. 
So now we will change this to Seattle and send the notification. And we see that they did not get any notification. That's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to go over sending push notifications to topics really quickly. But you can obviously see how you could make a much more complicated app than this. You could have like users signing in and ticking tick boxes where they want to get certain types of news or any kind of information, right? Like you could have an infinite number of topics. And um, if just in case you're wondering, if you want to unsubscribe from a topic, you just use the unsubscribe method. So if you wanted to un unsubscribe from New York weather, you would just call unsubscribe. So if I comment that out and rerun the app. So now that I'm unsubscribed, I'm going to send another notification to New York weather and we see nothing is received. So that's how you unsubscribe. If this video was helpful, definitely don't forget to leave a like below. Also leave a comment below if you're having any difficulties with this. I've been pretty good about answering comments. I think I've, I don't think I've missed any comment so far. Check out all my social media platforms in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.